Applying what we just learned earlier, let us apply the step-by-step -step procedure on how to find the Q point of a base bias transistor circuit. We need to remove the capacitors in the circuit first. Then we proceed to the first step, which is to find the base current IV. We can do so using KVL, starting from VCC, the DC supply, then to the voltage across the base resistor RB, and then the voltage across the VE junction. Rearranging the KVL equation, we have VRB, the voltage across the base resistor, being equal to the difference between the supply voltage VCC and the voltage across the B junction VBE. Using Ohm's law, the base current IB is equal to the division of VRB by the resistance of RB, which gives an answer of 93 microamperes. After calculating the base current, we calculate the Q points collector current in step 2. This collector current ICQ is equal to beta DC multiplied with the base current IB to give an answer of 9.3 milliamperes. We will then use the value of ICQ to calculate the value of VCQ in step 3. We can do so by applying KVL to the collector circuit. That is the vertical KVL loop. This will give us the following KVL equation. Rearranging this equation, we can calculate for VCQ to give an answer of 4.8 volts.